Well, in 2013, we, we found the property for sale on Craigslist, of all places, and uh, Dorothy and I drove up here, and, and uh, when we got to the property, our first thought was we just had to have it. it just, we could just see it was a, a fantastic, uh, beautiful location on a cliff, and they just don't make them like this anymore. I think people are just amazed that they can see Zion Hills in the in the in the far distance. They, they can see Pine Valley, and then the great view overlooking the beautiful town of St. George. So that just impresses people. It's just not not normal these days to find a property like this. As soon as we saw it, we thought, okay, we have to have this. Well, we had experience with remodeling older buildings before a couple of times, and so it was like a natural for us. And we could see the potential. I think that was part of it too. We could. See we both had the vision of what it could be. It wasn't very long we realized most of our conversation centered around the restaurant. We could both see we were excited about it. And then um, as we've done the Cliffside Restaurant, it's just been kind of a part of us. And I, I think the thing I've enjoyed the most are the people. Mm -hmm. uh, well, both our guests and our staff. It's just, it's a hospitality business, both of them, the, the restaurant and the hotel. And it's just, it's been really fun. Just yeah, we've kind of taken the motto on, we take care of the, the staff and they take care of the guests. And it seems to have worked that way. We love uh, the people who work here. And, and it's been a true love affair for us to be able to be around. Probably one of the hardest decisions I ever made was uh, moving, relocating from Boston, 2,500 miles across the country to St. George, Utah. but. I was lucky and blessed enough to find Cliffside and to find the Hears and the family of this re this restaurant family that we have here. The Hears, they own the restaurant. Tom and Dorothy and Dan are the owners of the restaurant and they are family, but the rest of us that work here have been taken underneath their wings and, and held in that same family respect. And we all, front of the house, back of the house, bussers, dishwashers, everybody from top to bottom looks after each other, cares for each other. We run it as a family owned and operated business and that's why I think people love that, that we, we have this great product in this, this, this restaurant, this hotel and we have great food and great service but we have a, a family flair that, that big corporate chains can't quite have. Well Dorothy treats every person who walks into this like she won't let us call them customers. She insists we call everyone a guest because to her, they're her guests. And, and it's become that way for me too. It's just like a guest in our home. We're thrilled to have them here. And, and then we, we worry <laughs> that we do a great job for them. We know it's their hard earned money and they could go to a lot of different places and they chose to come to Cliffside. And uh, it's very personal to us to, to make sure we, we do a good job. Lots of moving parts in the restaurant and hard to get it all right all the time. But we do our best and again, thanks to the good people we have. Uh, we have a good outcome most of the time for our guests. People come and stay at the hotel and dine at the restaurant. We feel like they have kind of a, a vacation in itself up here. That they do go see other things down here in St. George and Zion and the very uh, attractions here. But our, our, our property can be a destination. They can come and be at the pool, be in their room, come down, have lunch and dinner, and just, just make, it a, make it a little getaway for them. We strive for the wow factor. So from the minute that they walk in the door, that they have that wow factor from the hostess that's greeting them, um, the personalities that they have up there. Then when they get taken to their table, every table we have has a wonderful view, which is another wow factor, but um, added to that is our great food. Um, some of my favorite things is when we bring a dish out to a guest and it sets in front of them and you can see their eyes light up. So here at Cliffside, we love to bring our passion to you, and I think that shows in our work. And it shows when people have their experiences and their banquets and events here. So we can also cater, and we do that off-site. So if you have a place that you're getting married in Springdale or a bigger event center, we'd love to cater for you. So we can bring our experience to you. We would really rather pay extra in having the, um, the labor to make the food than paying for the extra for the food and it tastes much better and it, they have, a, the cooks and the chefs, they have just a real um, opportunity to create 
And I think that's what's really great about it too, is they're back there creating something. And our favorite two words here are, try this. Because they always try things out on us and it's just like, oh, this is so delicious. Being a, of the East Coast, I'm very involved in the seafood industry. I've, I've worked with seafood for, for a very long time. I love seafood. Being here in St. George, it's a landlocked community and there isn't really much seafood in town. Bringing the sustainable seafood up here to Cliffside has been great because we're able to give the customers a, a, that are in our community that are used to uh, cod, salmon, trout, those things are on mainstays on our menu, but also we're bringing in day boat scallops out of, out, of, out of Massachusetts. We're bringing in uh, Baja wild rockfish out of California. We're bringing in, you know, our salmon is farm raised out of the, off the tip of Antarctica uh, it, with antibiotic and hormone free farm. That's one of the best farms in the country. You can't probably find a better salmon, wild or not. This is probably one of the best products that we have. One of our main signature dishes are coconut crusted shrimp. And that's a dish that for since the dawn of, of Cliffside has been on our menu and it has been a winner all the way every day. However, for us it's bittersweet and it's a labor of love because it's a great product, but boy, it takes us a long time to produce it. We get our shrimp, we have to butterfly our shrimp, then we have to dredge them. Uh, and then bread them. They're all handmade. They're not bought frozen. They're definitely made hand, hand done one by one, and then and then fried. And that's why they're they're probably better than anywhere else in the community. Uh, another one of the things that we do here at Cliffside that's different than the rest of the industry is we sous vide our steaks, and, and that means that our steaks are. Uh, we uh, hand cut all of our steaks and then we season them and, and put them in a cryovac bag and submerge them in water and, and cook them at to a, to a set temperature so that they're cooked all the way to the same temperature throughout. Then we shock them and then we'll finish them on the grill as we get to order. And what that does is that, that sous vide process helps to tenderize the steak and makes it so that it's, it seals in all the juices and makes it more flavorful and a little bit more tender throughout. When they create this food for everyone, it's really made with love and the guests see that when they get it to their table. So it's this really cool environment because you're gonna get this amazing view, the beautiful food, there is a story behind it, and there is a really incredible feeling when you come up here. We haven't really been very good at telling the story of Cliffside in the back. We make our own croutons, we make everything. Things that you would expect that we would be buying in a big bag, we don't buy them, we make them. And, uh, well, and I also have to say, it's a really happy kitchen. Chef Eric runs a very happy kitchen, and I always think if it's a happy kitchen, it's happy food that goes out to our guests. Cliffside owns a five-acre peach orchard out in Hurricane. And, Called uh, Cliffside Farms. <laughs> and, uh, and it's a labor of love, um, particularly for me. I'm out there <laughs> weed-eating and irrigating, and, and uh, we do that with uh, tomatoes from local growers. and. In Hurricane, we also have quite a bit of uh, pecans. Uh, it's known for its beautiful pecan trees, and so a lot of our pecans come from the Hurricane area. From day one, if I said I could only have one thing on the menu, it would be the salmon. And then if I could have two things on the menu, I would have the salmon and a hamburger, because the hamburgers are great, but I love the fries. So that's, and that's still, I have the specials every time, and I try everything, and I love everything but those two are still dear to my heart. <laughs> and for me, it's the, the specials because that shows mm -hmm. the creativity of mm -hmm. our chefs. And so you never know what you're gonna get when you come up here to Cliffside. And some of those specials are just breathtaking. You know, and, and, and it isn't just our chef that does it. That's what we love about our chef. He has, everybody back there has input. And, and all of them, they can come up with their come own. Come up with different things. <laughs> yeah. and anyway, they, and some of them we run them for special for a while and then, and they do so well they end up on the menu. Cliffside has a beautiful location sitting on a cliff overlooking St. George. But really what Cliffside is is the people, the, the people in the, what we call the back of the house, that's in the kitchen, and the people in the front of the house, the servers. Uh, you couldn't find finer people anywhere. and. That's the joy of, of being able to work here, I think. We're really proud of the business, and, uh, and I, I say other than the vision, 
we, we can't take credit for a lot of it. It's just like a symphony. You put all those parts together and they make beautiful music. And I think when people come here on the property and stay on the property, they see that. And that's why we've been so highly rated and, and why it's really fun for her and I to We love it. We love it. To work here. <laughs> we love it. Hope all of our guests love it too.